Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger, and I'm pleased to be here with you because this time, I actually did a video before and the sound wasn't working, but we're in retrograde, so you'll have to forgive me. But people were so kind, and they're still signing up for what I'm about to offer, but I'm also about to share some really cool information with you. So first of all, here's the down low. Here's the 411. Debbie Dashinger, Dare to Dream podcast for 13 years. I'm a visibility shaman out into the world. What does that mean? It means to me, visibility is an inside outside job. Yes, everybody needs to know the technicalities. I coach how to write a book, how to write a page turner book. I also have a company that takes your book to a guaranteed international bestseller. And I run the ultimate visibility formula, which is how to get booked on radio and podcasts in 60 days or less and get results. So that said, every so often I get a download and I know it is mine to do out into the world. I've done this before. And what I mean by this is specifically an anthology book. Greatest experience ever. I um, Lots of joy and you can see tons of testimonies from my authors. But I got a download the other day that said, you're to do a book. You're, it's time for you to do an anthology book. And I thought, but what? Because I have to feel a passion, uh, compelling to move forward on something. <clears throat> I was actually in a meditation and I heard, dog, it is your time to have an anthology book about dogs. And every author will contribute a chapter about a dog, whether they're writing it from their point of view, from a story they know about, or maybe from a dog's point of view, which I think would be very, very interesting. So I am producing an anthology about dogs. If you would like to contribute a chapter, I'm gonna urge you to go directly to the URL, which is debbid.net slash anthology. That is the only place to sign up and register. And I do, I am vetting everybody. I am aware of everybody who's going through there. Um, I just did like a tiny little video the other day and I already had folks sign up and that's how it works, right? You know, you build it and they will come. And I, I have to say, I have my first dog, right? I only had cats before, and I'm a crazy animal-loving human. <laughs> I love just about, except for snakes scare the shit out of me, but doesn't mean that I don't love them, but afar. But I'm mad about animals. I'll tra travel far for animals. One time I read an article in the Oprah magazine, and I reached out to this woman who had been the person in the spotlight for the animals because she had a llama farm. She used to be a teacher and she just didn't love her work. And she was completely passionate about llamas, true story. And so this woman decided that she was going to buy and raise llamas, shear them for their wool, if you will. And then she also used the wool to knit these exquisite scarves and things. Um, and I wanted to go. So I reached out to her. And because she knows I had a show and I write books and so forth, she invited me. This is quite some time ago. It was probably eight years ago. She invited me to come. It was a long drive. And I remember, like, it was the greatest day of my life. I remember pulling up into the driveway. So here's what llamas do, because they're hilarious. They also have the most beautiful eyelashes in the world. So when I um, get a transplant, I definitely want llama eyelashes. So here's what llamas do because they're pack animals, right? Which means they face out always. They're always looking for, for danger. And the other thing is that when they hear a noise, the whole herd moves in the direction of the noise. So can you imagine, here I am, brand spanking new, excited to meet the llamas, pull up in my car, my little Mini Cooper, and all of a sudden 40 llama heads turn towards me. Oh. <laughs> it was crazy. And they also don't like to touch, by the way. They're not really human touchy kind of animals, but I had some of them hugging me and coming underneath me, and I have the most amazing pictures. So I've got, I could tell a lot of animal stories. I could actually do a whole live about animal stories. But suffice it to say, that's just one of many, and it was the greatest day. This woman was amazing, the llamas were amazing, the day was amazing. So I am compelled right now to do something about dogs. I've got my dog Shelby sitting right behind me. Um, she may want to come out for a minute. She's very sleepy, so she won't say much, but she may just want to let you know if you're feeling at all the intrigue, if you are feeling excited about what I'm about to share, dive. 
jump because once the 25 author spots are filled, this book will close. The opportunity has to close because I'm only taking 25. So I, my working title for the anthology book is Dogs Are Paradise. And the working subtitle is If You're Not Covered in Dog Hair, Your Life is Empty. So you can be a published author this year. You can participate in the compilation anthology if I feel that you are a fit for the for the, I was said a fit for the dog. If you're a fit for the book, then I will invite you on in. Uh, you can be a published author and not have to write an entire book. And for many people, that's big. It's like they want to be an author. They want to have that on their bio. They want to have the experience, frankly, of just writing, but they don't want to have to do an entire book. Got it. And you don't have to. Go where your sweet spot is. That's what I always say as a visibility shaman. And the other thing is there are people who have written many books, one book, and still feel compelled to do a compilation. I myself, I've written three international best-selling books, and I'm also featured in 13 anthologies myself. So, you know, you have to go where the energy leads you. Do you have a story to tell about a dog? And are you ready? Would you like to become an international best-selling author? And I'll tell you why in a minute. I am looking for authors for this dog anthology book, and it's going to be new. I'm super excited. Again, 25 people who have writer's tales, or it can be tales. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> And you can use a D word if you want about dogs. It could be daring, it could be dramatic, it could be dastardly, it could be dreamy, it could be demonstrative, it could be devilish, it could be doubtful. I don't know, you come up with a D word. <laughs> it could be dastardly, I don't know, I may have said that already, but a dog's Debbie, dreaming, all of that. Here's what's great for the people who will participate the entire book is going to be done for you. You'll be completely guided through the experience. I'm going to have a graphic, a beautiful graphic design cover made for the book. The book will be professionally edited for you. I'm going to have the interview, the authors interviewed on a podcast or two. And I'm going to run the book to a guaranteed international bestseller status, not just domestic, by the way. And when I've done these anthologies, people have come in from other countries to participate. You can come in from anywhere. We will have one or two uh, masterclass Zooms together where you get all your questions answered. You'll be well guided, but also I'm going to teach you how to write a page turner. So you feel really well versed about how to do this and how to proceed. I have helped hundreds and hundreds of authors to write their books and turn their books into a success. Applications are being accepted now. So if you want to want, to, want actually it's not even 25 spots. Honestly, people started signing up and paying already. So just know if you want a spot, I would definitely jump. It's debbid.net slash anthology. You will see that there are testimonies there from previous authors, and I have many more where those came from. They're all international bestsellers now, and they've all been interviewed with great results. The, uh, the applications are gonna get filled up quickly. So I wanna give you some details for this unique and very bonus-filled offer, offer, offer to be an author. I actually feel like I wanna jump to the price right away because this is what people are going, what? You're only charging what? I know. I, I did some crunching, like mage crunching. How can I deliver the most professional, amazing uh, book and experience and still make it doable for all of you? So I'm gonna tell you what, what, the, what you're gonna be offered and I'm gonna tell you right up front, the value, this is just under 10K and your investment is only $795. So let me tell you what you're gonna get for your participation in this book. You get to write a chapter, in this very inspiring dog anthology book. And by the way, for those of you who are like, meh, I don't even know if I wanna write, I got your back. So I'm going to interview you and your interview will be turned into your chapter. It will be transcribed into your chapter. You need do nothing. So it's completely up to you, your choice, whether you wanna write or whether you wanna speak. And by the way, I'm also a firm believer some people have a gift of gab. It really is their gift to speak things out loud. I have to be honest, even though I have writing in my hands and I have writing in my astrology chart, and my human design, you'll see it everywhere. And I step into it as a writer and as a writing coach. But I have to tell you, I still feel like speaking camera, microphone, better gift for me. So if that's your gift, go, go, go. This book will become an international guaranteed bestseller. I take care of that. 
all of you will be interviewed on two to three different podcasts once we have the book finished. A global press release will be put out for the book, a book video trailer. The authors all will be featured in published magazine. You will have a graphically designed book cover. The book is professionally edited. The book launch will be this year. So we're gonna have one and done this year and I'm handling everything for you. So you can have this on your resume, your website, you speak from stage, all of the above. Do you love this outfit, by the way? One of my besties, Siddiqui, brought it back from, I think she bought it in New Zealand. I just love it. It's so like goddess, um, fabulous. Goddess Shaman Fabulous. So that's why I wanted to wear it for you because I feel like I'm talking about something so special. So what else? I told you you will get a bonus live class with me. And if you can't attend, of course, the replay, but it's so much more fun to do it live. You can be anywhere in the world. We're going to do a Zoom. Now, day of launch, book launch, when it is complete, and I'm running the international bestseller, you're going to get launch screenshots, all the rankings. You're going to get all the proofs done for you transcription, book editing, book interior formatting, cover professionally done, ta-da. And you'll be getting copy, by the way, marketing copy two weeks before and day of launch, because of course, you wanna let your friends know, you wanna let your colleagues know, you wanna let your database know uh, the great things that you're up to. Oh, it's so fun to watch when people cheer you on. Everybody loves to see somebody's dream come true. And when you let them know what you're involved in, and that you're part of this dog compilation, trust me, it's gonna be amazing. I also wanna say, how powerful is, is it for you to have a voice for an animal? Uh, so I just wanna put some ideas out there because they all feel pretty sumptuous to me. You could be a veterinarian and have really one-on-one -on -one experience with dogs. You could be a veteran, as in war vet, or, and have experience with a dog. You could be somebody who needed to use a dog for some kind of service, um, some kind of, I'll leave it up to there, but like for real, emotional service dog, physical service dog, that would be amazing. You could be somebody who trains dogs. I already had somebody who come on board who does that, and I'm excited to hear. You could be somebody who's had a dog or dogs their whole life. You could be somebody who was saved by a dog. You could be somebody who channels dogs or is a medium and may want to tell things from a dog's point of view. Boy, do I want to read that chapter. And so there's many, many points of view you could have. If you were a dog, how you would save the world. I mean, have at it. Have a great time. I more than anything want you to have fun with this and feel really inspired and compelled by whatever you write. So just know when you go to debbid.net slash anthology, I am literally giving people first priority, meaning once they have been vetted and they are on, they register and they come on board at that website, as they come on board, they are going to be receiving chapters in that order. So the first person who signs on gets the first chapter. I think it's cool to be in the front of the book. Now, everything that I just named, that I just shared with you, is literally $9,293. I actually think that's ridiculously low price because anybody who knows what an international best-selling book launch, even my sale price when I do it for an author costs, I can tell you that this price is way, way low. But, but all of that said, if, to have a price in your head, 9,293, the lowest price imaginable for all of what I just named, and to become a published international bestselling author this year, I'm only charging 7.95. You can do that in one payment or two and keep it simple. We have tons of anthology testimonies from when I've done them in the past. Um, and I feel like Shelby might wanna be part of this. And so, like I said, somebody's sleeping. She's a big lump. She's like a lump right now. But <laughs> she's like, I don't want to talk. <laughs> she's hilarious, by the way. Shelby has no sense of a camera. Mommy loves camera. Shelby doesn't love camera. Shelby's, Shelby really wants to sleep. But this is my baby. I just want you to see this. When she's animated, she's sleepy, sleepy right now. But this is my, the love of my life. The closest thing to me in the whole world. Oh God, she's gonna make me wanna cry. I love this, this four-year-old gorgeous creature more than I can ever. She's a 15-pound cockapoo. 
and I had been obsessed with dogs. I'm born in the year of the dog. I wanted a dog so badly. And so I was so afraid that my lifestyle or because I'd never really had a dog before that I would suck at it. I didn't want to ruin a dog's life. And so I would babysit dogs for two weeks at a time and live with them so I could see, am I really good at this? Do I have what it takes? And I realized every time I babysat a dog and I, the person would come back from their trip and I'd go to give them the dog, I, would, I was always very gracious, but the moment the door closed, wah, I was crying because I missed the dog so much. And I didn't know how I had done two weeks solid, day in and day out with this, like my whole life was around the dog because I worked from home. And I realized as soon as I handed them off, oh, it was so painful, right? And that was just two weeks. So I realized, okay, it's time to jump. I want to say this about the story I'm telling you, but I also wanna say this about the compilation. I, I saw this the other day on TV, and it's really, really, really powerful. It's a beautiful thing to reflect on. This has to do with creating dreams. This has to do with when you feel that you wanna do something and you don't do it, no bueno, and I'll tell you why. Because really, to live with a regret sucks more than imaginable and you know because you we all at some point have not done something haven't told someone we love them haven't moved forward on a relationship haven't gone for a career haven't moved somewhere we wanted to changed careers lost the weight some kind of opportunity presented itself forgive forgiven ourselves or somebody else you know fill in the blank but you know that feeling intimately so here's the dealio i was watching tv the other day and i was um I was watching Lionel Richie, the amazing singer, fabulous performer, Lionel Richie, was mentoring a singer, 24-year-old guitar-playing dude from Arkansas with a thick accent. And the guy from Arkansas was playing a song that he wrote. And Lionel Richie said, you're a great songwriter. Why are you living in Arkansas? Why aren't you living in Nashville? country dude and he said well because i have a job i decided i was going to get a real job at least i got a job right so i could still play my music and gig but i got me a job and lionel richie said to him you know son i want to tell you something you're only 24 and now's the time no matter what age you are now is the time but a dream is a pond right and you walk around the pond and walk around the pond and look at the pond and you could think how would it be if i jumped in the pond what might happen what could go wrong if i jumped in the pond what could go right if i jumped in the pond you could think about the pond or you could jump in the pond he said son you got to jump in the pond you got to move to nashville so i ask you if you feel like the pond is this dog anthology and you are excited about it and you feel like you might have a contribution i'm going to tell you to jump I'm gonna tell you to go, stop thinking so much. My God, I could do a whole dissertation on this. The name of my podcast is Dare to Dream. Why did I call it Dare to Dream? I'm gonna tell you that people look at me all the time and say, you live a big life, Debbie. You do a lot. I see you here, I see you there, you're on this stage, you're with that person and that celeb and this experience and yeah, and guess what? I teach Dare to Dream because it's been one of the biggest problems in my life. I know walking around the pond, right? I also am someone who's a mad researcher and I have to respect that aspect of me. So when I was walking around the pond thinking about a dog, that was the right thing to do. I, I shouldn't bring a dog in my life if I'm not gonna be capable of taking care of a beautiful, gorgeous, amazing life form like this. I gotta show up, right? But once I did the research, you know, the rest of it is training. Right? I just had to be trained. How do you feed it properly? How do you train it properly? And we all went to training together. You got to jump in the pond. So I have learned this is my lifelong lesson, right, Shelby? This is my lifelong lesson, jumping in the pond. And I come up against resistance all the time. Now, I know this is not a big resistance. It's got a tiny little price tag. This is doable. I'm already telling you I'm going to guide you through the whole thing. But I'm telling you, don't sleep on this because we have less than 25 slots left. 
people are signing up, people are excited about it, and I'm super excited about who's already signed up. So I'm telling you, because if, if it's for you, debbyd.net slash anthology, don't wait. I wanna read you just a couple of these testimonies. And, um, oh, hi, Susan, that's wonderful. Well, there, there's Susan, she's, a, <laughs> she's an animal psychic, so of course. Then Susan, go to debbid.net slash anthology and register, darling. Um, so yes, I'll tell you just the last little bit about this. So testimonies. Um, okay, and Shelby wants me to tell you a funny story. So Shelby, can I tell, okay. I, she said, I can tell a few testimonies and tell a funny story about her. So Keisha wrote, the universe has definitely listened and has answered my prayers. I was actually guided to you as this has been a long time coming. She's a previous, by the way, anthology author who worked with me for an anthology book that was incredibly successful. Thank you for the tremendous success. I feel such a connection with you. And yes, I totally agree with you. I affirm, I am a writer, author. There's this fire that's burning inside of me to share my many stories with the world. And I thank you for assisting and guiding me through this process. Thanks a million, Debbie, Keisha. This is from Jenna. I'm so grateful that you've trusted me and invited me to be part of this incredible anthology project and opportunity. You are amazing. And I deeply thank you for all you're doing for all of us authors. With great love and appreciation, we are now number one international best-selling book. Thank you, Debbie Dashinger, for facilitating this incredible feat. This is from Erica. I am one of the authors in the anthology book, I Am Still Here, Trials Turned Into Transformation. I want to thank Debbie Dashinger for her leadership and vision with this book. We've already been ranked as one of Amazon's hottest new releases. This book has been a phenomenal turning point, and it has certainly changed my life. And this is from Jeff. Truly awesome. Thank you for all you created on our behalf, our fearless leader, Debbie. This is from Frank. Debbie. Great work, I am flabbergasted. I never thought it would happen. I wanna thank you for all the work that you've done. Number one in Canada and in Australia, 41.7 thousand sales in the US and 15,000.2 sales in the UK thus far. That is almost 57,000 between the two countries. Thanks and keep up the great work. I have many more uh, testimonies. You can see them at debbyd.net slash anthology. But right now I'm gonna tell this story that Shelby wants me to tell, okay. So, I, um, a couple of years ago, I think she was only two years old, but I realized, speaking of dreams and jumping in ponds, that I had created most of the dreams that I had, and I kind of felt a little bored, like, oh, where do I go from here? And I thought, oh, Shelby the dog must have dreams. Why don't I create dreams for Shelby? So, <laughs> I thought, let's put together a bucket list. If I were Shelby, what would my bucket list be? So I wrote out some things and we started that summer to do them, to accomplish them so she could experience her bucket list. One of the ones on the list was that she wanted to meet her mommy and brothers. So here's the backstory. Shelby's mommy was pregnant and living on the streets. Shelby's mommy clearly had been well taken care of and came from an actual home because she was beautiful and groomed and we don't know the story, right? We don't know what really the deal was Lu with Lulu was. That was her name, Lulu. We don't know if she escaped. We don't know if she got lost. But the bottom line is Lulu was on the street and quite pregnant. So sadly, what shelters will do, true story, when they find a prego dog, they will keep it for a short period of time. And again, if nobody adopts it or claims it, they will euthanize it with the pups in it. There's an amazing organization called Cuddly Canines. And if you're interested, you can go to cuddlycanines.com. Cuddly Canines is where I went online to fill out an application for a dog. They're an amazing organization. And Cuddly Canines will rescue pregnant dogs, take them to a foster home, wait till the mom gives birth, and then everybody gets adopted, the mom and the siblings, the babies, everybody. Well, Shelby's mommy went to a beautiful home in Irvine, California, and she was fostered there. They were amazing people, incredible family. And I got a notice that I was given, my application was accepted, and I was to go and check out the dogs and pick one. So I got to see Shelby when she was this big. Oh my God, I wish I, 
I could get up, but I can't because she's on my lap. But I have pictures of her when she was like, literally, she was in my hand. So I met her mom, who had just given birth, who was beautiful, and her two very rambunctious brothers, and Shelby, who was extremely docile. So I picked Shelby. I had to wait, you know, the eight weeks till she was weaned, and then she uh, got spay and all that stuff, and then I picked her up. And then she never saw her brothers and her mommy again. So I decided she was going to meet them. And it took me weeks and weeks of investigation and looking into and tracking down and researching because where do you start with something like that? Everyone got adopted and I didn't know where they had landed. I didn't know even if they were in this country. Thankfully, the lady at Cuddly Canines was incredibly kind and remembered me and remembered our foster mom. And eventually she connected the two of us. Foster mommy knew where everybody went and she connected all of us through text. So here we all are texting. And it was incredible. People were sending pictures of her siblings and her mommy. And we all made a pact that we would meet up at a dog park in Irvine. It was a bit of a drive for me in the middle of summer, but it was worth every mile. And we all met. I got to tell you, these people, all the new people like me who were the person for the dog, I don't like owner, person for the dog. We, it was incredible how super nice everybody was and how we all got along. It was beautiful to see the dogs meet her two brothers, her mommy, who's just gorgeous. And, and it was so interesting because the biggest curiosity I had was, is everybody going to know each other? Will they know each other's scent? Is there something that will key them, clue them in like oh, your blood? They didn't know. Just so you know. And it's not the big part of the story, but just so you know, they totally didn't know who they were. But everybody was like, puppy, playtime. So they ran around the dog park, had a great time, got treats, ran around the dog park. I mean, it was so sweet to see them together. We all took pictures together, like one big extended family with the dogs. It was awesome. So that's a story of Shelby's bucket list. So <laughs> if you would like to be a part of this compilation, let me tell you a little more. This is from uh, Julie who said, Debbie is a breath of fresh air and a beautiful soul. She is a natural inner knowing of how to bring out the best in people. I highly recommend Debbie to assist you in any of your needs and building your pathway to visibility and success. Uh, Brenda wrote, it is the middle of the night in the UK, yet I cannot sleep because I am so excited by the light we are shining into the world through our anthology book that was just published. In tremendous gratitude to Debbie and our continued success. My heart is bursting with happiness, joy, and gratitude for everything you are achieving for us. You have a magic touch, Debbie. And that was from Brenda. Ah, reading these again. I receive, I receive. So you can be a published author this year. You can be showcased. This is fully done for you. I provide you the formula so you can write your chapter in this dog book. I design the book cover as a powerful tool. I collect the submissions from you as you write them or conduct an interview with the contributors so you can create your story. I professionally, not me personally, I hire someone to professionally edit the book. I hire someone who's gonna design the book interior. I secure final approvals from the contributors for the publication. I set up the Amazon account for Kindle and for paperback. I also have it technically converted from a soft cover into the ebook for Amazon. I secure your approval throughout the publishing process. I provide you as a contributor an author's only page with the branding. I promote your book to an Amazon international bestseller guaranteed. I promote your book to over a million of my global following and international book advisory board. I provide each author comprehensive reports daily, including proof of bestseller screenshots taken during launch as your book's ranking rise. And you will receive business building bonuses valued at $9,293 free. This is all totally done for you for only $795. Every author will finish their chapter. They will finish this book. They will get published this year, promoted, and they will impact the world. So again, debbyd.net slash anthology. You can be an author, a bestseller, be interviewed, receive book coaching. And the price right now, 
for $7.95, yes. But as people are signing up, and they are, really, you don't want to lose that space. Of course, that's a crazy big discount. But I'm so excited, and when I'm inspired to do something, I must. The $7.95 can be one payment, or it can be two. And if you have any questions, reach out. Let me know what your questions are. I feel like if you go to that website, the debbied.net slash anthology, you'll get everything answered, really, that you could possibly be curious about. And what I want to say is, I feel like the people I attract, I'm consistently honored and humbled to work with. So if you feel called, chances are we are being attracted to each other for great reason. I trust that. I trust the people who come to me. So if it is you and you're ready to jump in that pond and you're ready to go to great visibility heights and really amazing success, I am excited to take you there. Go to debbyd.net slash anthology. You'll get to write a chapter about a dog and all the things I said earlier. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Any questions you can write to support at debbie-inger.com, but you got to spell my name right. D-E-B-B-I. D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R, DebbieDashinger.com. And Shelby, any closing thoughts? I would like to sleep. I would like to sleep a lot more. And if you want to write a chapter, just know dogs love you. We love you and we change the planet. And we say yay if you want to participate. If you want to participate, we will guide you through the whole process. Dogs rule. There's a reason why they say dog spelled backwards is God. <laughs> I'm Shelby, signing off. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Them Shelby's fighting words. actually did a video before and the sound wasn't working. <clears throat> oh, I one thing I did forget to do, which is really important, is end my Zoom. So forgive me. I also did a Facebook Live at the same time. Any, anyway, everybody, I love y'all. It's great to be with you. Forgive me for the long delay here, but um, it's all perfect.